Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of Nils Trials this time around with Frostpunk. Yeah, we are gonna like just take off where we left. If you're new to Nils Trials I just try different games. That's not smite because I actually haven't gotten to play a lot of video games in my life. So that's kind of sad. So yeah, I wonder if we can do anything about this um, this sensitivity here because it is quite fast. I feel like audio is definitely not in there. You know what? We'll, we'll chill with it. This is fine. Okay, so where we left off, we're building a beacon so we can send out our scouts. Uh, I kind of forgot to mention that because my door's open because it's so hot here, there might actually be birds tweaking that's getting picked up by my microphone. That's kind of unrealistic with birds for this weather. Maybe like an, an ice bird. Alright, so you're gonna see people now, hopefully, are gonna. Yeah, they start walking out here. They're gonna build the beacon. God, I'm so tired. Every day, the same grind, but we got to keep going. Let's make it through the day, maybe tomorrow's better. So we're starting to get sick people. There's like two stages of ill. You can be ill or gravely ill. All right, so a steel thing is depleted. That means our emergency shift is kind of irrelevant because it depleted, so we need more people on steel. All right. I think one way we could do that is just to send them over here straight away. There's 59 steel to pick up here, so I can go ahead and do that tomorrow. But for now, we're chilling. Uh, we can build more homes actually as well, because we have spare wood. We're gonna be going to build a tent. So yeah, we're just chilling. Chilling right now, building the beacon. Speed it up a bit. So you can see, free time. One of our people died, oh no. Death of all, one of the people died suddenly during the emergency shift. We don't know what happened, but it's like he, uh, it, it was a, a heart attack. All emergency shifts currently in progress will end. Hope will rise slightly. Uh, oh, we must make sacrifices. This cost will rise. We'll end emergency shifts for today. Because literally people are going to go and work. The usual work time is from 8 to 4, I'm pretty sure. First death, one of the people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and that the cold will keep claiming the lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose of the body. Let's open the Book of Laws. Obviously, we don't have a Book of Law, but we can do cemetery or corpse disposal. Alright. We can't do that yet, though. We can do that in 12 hours. So he died in the gathering post. It was a worker. That's sad, man. Joseph Broughton. Poor guy. God damn it. Right, let's keep going. Let's build another home. So now we have. Do we need one more home, right? Because we have six homes. You can see the temperature here. It's pretty comfortable. It's pretty livable. Very low risk of getting ill. It's very nice. We do need a medical post soon so people can stop being sick. Otherwise, they might get gravely ill and then they're gonna be amputees and they're gonna be pretty much useless. The bacon beacon is almost done building. And now, boom! We are no longer lost. I should have probably read that. But whatever. Basically, the bacon. Beacon. Bacon? Beacon? Beacon. Right. I think it's pronounced beacon. Bush. Go out here. We out here. The beacon is chilling. So. Boom. Look at this. This is where we are stranded. In some Norwegian fjells, it seems. And you have like different places you can go to. Unknown side, gloomy cave, and lost expedition. Alright. So let's go ahead and create a team. We need 40 wood actually, so you can't quite do that. So you, it requires 40 wood and 5 workers. So we're just gonna chill for now. People are gathering stuff still, so that's great. We should probably put like childs one child in there even though it's on overtime work but all right oh ready to search people cheers a giant observation balloon soars above the city this is a real feat everyone feels proud of the work they have done to make it happen volunteers have lined up eager to go looking for a lost people in frostland the woman who came forward earlier is among them we need a win all right, and then child injured at work. A child got distracted and has been injured. The accident was not as serious and happened entirely due to the child's careness. We can give the kid a day off. The child 
won't work for 24 hours, so it will rise slightly, or we can scald the kid for being callous. You know, in a world where there's only 79 people alive in this particular part of the world, if you fuck up to your own callousness, that's your fault. I'm not gonna give you 24 hours of work just because you fucked up. So I'm gonna scold you for being callous. And the hope falls. One disciple decision, one adult died, one unpopular decision. That's kind of sad. Do you have like temporary modifiers and citizen needs, lack of shelters? Do you have like temporary and normal? What do you say? The opposite of temporary? Whatever. Multipliers. Alright, so we need four. Oh shit, we're like way above 40 wood. So now we need five workers. So we're just gonna go ahead and take five workers out. And we're gonna create a scout team. And now this scout team. Can either go to the we can send it to the lost expedition. Numerous tents, we can see people moving about. They must be the lost member for our expedition. Or we can see the gloomy cave. There's a dark cave entrance on the visible on the hillside. We think we saw a faint wisp of smoke come from it, but it's gone now. Let's go to let's go to let's go to the lost expedition. It's only eleven hours away. So now they're here, you kinda get this notification pop up over here. You can view map, go to city, and we can see that uh, nine hours here. That's 61% done. We'll just keep going. Uh, Alright, so a few things we need to worry about right now is we want to make a medical post. Because people are getting ill. So we need 25 wood for that. We also want to make a cookhouse. So we can start cooking the food we have. Uh, so people don't get completely scuffed from not being able to eat. Which is kind of sad, actually. I feel a bit bad about that. Um, but yeah, only engineers uh, can work in like workshops and medical posts. Because they're the more skilled workers. So we're gonna go ahead and create a medical post now. Medical post. Alright, so we gotta think about this kinda actually, because medical posts are the same size as houses, and you kinda wanna think about your layout as well. It's it's one thing you can care more or less about. It's definitely gonna pay off in the more late game if you did a good layout for your city, but it's not a city builder at all, like by any means. It's not what it's meant to be, but it's a nice element that you can kinda do whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, the medical post. Bam. And then start building that. Uh, we see Fortnite. How many people? You can see this white progress bar here, kinda slowly depleting. It's very it's very tiny. But you can kinda see it. So we need to build one more house it seems, and that's ten wood. So we that's honestly should just be a number one priority right now. Actually no. Because we have a lot of time still. We're just chilling, man. We're just mad chilling. Get a new technology in a sec. That's gonna be pretty neat. Cause then we get faster gathering. Hope is falling. Cause people are dying and faster gathering research. Gathering from coal piles, wood crates, and seal wreckage is now 15% faster. So we now we can do a new research. Hunters gear. Fancy better snowshoes and has camouflage. Hunters setting out from the raw hunters to return with more raw food. We can do resources. We can do steel work. Extracts iron ore from the deposit and processes it to develop up to 40 steel per standard day. We can do a sawmill, a coal farm. I'm gonna go ahead and do steel works for now, I think. Because we want like a, a good way of getting steel. And that could be could be it. Another thing we wanna do now is a cookhouse. Which is 20 wood. So we can do that in a second. Pause the game. Build the cookhouse. Now the cookhouse is a bit bigger, so we kind of got to think about where we place this. Uh, so how I'm thinking it, we can kind of build out here, like this way, can be our residential on the the right of this road here. So like from here to here can be a residential area, because we are gonna have a lot of people probably. Uh, cookhouse though, that means we want to get it on this side of the road and. Well, I think, I think it fits pretty well in there. It's a bit bigger than the workshop. Uh, it's a bit rough, actually. I think right there is going to be A-OK -okay for now, though. So, just put it there. Bam! That's perfect. And people are going to be building that, but nothing is getting built right now because people are kind of working busy with that. So, speed up the game a bit. Wait for something to happen. Wood crate depleted. So, now we have 10 workers. Oh, actually five engineers. So we can put kind of where we want. We have enough people in our things here. We can put more people on wood. That seems very reasonable. Oh. 
gathering post resource depleted. Damn. So now our whole gathering post is like out of resources. So now we have a bunch of workers that are not really doing anything. So we gotta figure this situation out right now because we need to mine more stuff. Uh, we can therefore do. do we, I don't think we need more coal right now. We're in a pretty good spot with coal. That's fine. Alright, so over here we actually have a bunch of stuff. We have a wood crate. We have a gathering post here, but we might as well get more people on it. So we can do 14 on that wood crate and 5 there. Let's actually do 5. Do like that. And then do some more people on the call. We are gonna pull out the engineers in a sec though, because. Alright, so now that this is gone, we could actually go ahead and dismantle it and gain some resources, because why not? Because we're never gonna use it anyway, right? So the early game is a lot about just kind of re collecting resources with your bare hands and then as you progress in, like you get steelworks, coal mines, wood thumbers, where you do like a giant injection into the side of the mountain and kind of get wood off that, so. We're gonna speed up a bit until they finish building. They build this stuff now. And that is our medical post. So one easy way here to find your engineers is you can go down here and we can hover over engineers and we see we have five in the workshops, one working over here and four working here. Now we probably only want like three people maybe working in the uh, in the medical post for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull out three and put three engineers in the medical post and now people can go and get treated because they when they're ill. So that's awesome. We should also build a tent so people can actually enjoy a little house that would be nice so now work time is kind of getting over with we're chilling we need to stockpile more coal to fight the coal to kind of finish that mission bam steelworks research so now we can go ahead and build our steelworks now there's like designated uh, places where we can build this we're only gonna need one steelworks for starters so we can place one there and then we can just kind of make a road out there. Let's see if we can do this. Like that should be fine. Kind of want to do it evenly. Uh, so this is quite a commitment for, for, of wood actually. Which is kind of sad. Our discount is not that high right now. So we can just kind of overwork people. We can call an emergency tier because we kind of need more wood. It's just a nice mechanic early game to like help you with stuff. We probably can't even research stuff as well because we have we need ten wood to research stuff. So I'm gonna speed up the game pace a bit. It seems as nothing. What did I did I emergency shift wood crates? Yeah, that we're just not getting any wood at all. Shelter promise fulfilled. Everyone feels relief for the roof, even a flapping one over their head. Hope rises. That's quite neat. New research now. Can do a sawmill, uh, can also do drawing boards, but that's 50 wood, then you can now unlock the next tier. Don't really worry about that food for now, because you have so much food, you don't need to worry about food early game. Sawmill allows to build sawmills, turns frozen trees into usable material, producing up to 50 wood per stand of work there. That's quite good, let's research that. Cookhouse, now in the cookhouse, uh, that's where people cook stuff, obviously. Let's find our children, so we have 10 working in here, and 4 working in here. You kind of only need like two people in the cookhouse and it's kind of good to put children in there because how can they really fuck up two out of the cookhouse? Not, I don't really know. You can do child labor all jobs. We need all available hands to work if we want to survive. We'll now allow children to be employed wherever they can. Help no matter the risk. Children can now be employed in most workplaces. Hope will fall. This concept will rise slightly. Children can die, be injured in accidents. We did want to make a cemetery corpse disposal, although I think a need we want kind of more right now is extended shifts so people work more it's kind of op and we kind of want that so we can introduce the the, the corpse disposal or the cemetery in 18 hours let's go ahead and do that also our scout is about to arrive someone's angry if you refuse to work a man assigned you to an emergency shift has refused to work he said he's already worn out and he doesn't want up to end dead like one of his friends let him rest this man won't work for 20 or 5, 24 hours get back to work get back to work so now this content is kind of shitty uh so we probably don't want to make too many like harsh decisions but you kind of got to do that to min max all right 
Lost expedition, so our scout arrived here. So let's see. Whoosh. All right. Oh, this is so cool. So we can explore. The rest of the people made the camp here. It's too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Explore. All right. So we enter the camp, appearing, appearing out of the driving snow, a, co a co core of excited voices welcome her welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days and so we couldn't go any longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults around us and packed up and ready to go. So either we can escort uh, the people back, scouts will set out towards our city and bring survivors quickly and safe, safely with them. Or we can send the survivors to the city. Uh, it will take longer and some of them may die. I'm gonna go ahead and send them because we don't really need people right now. Like we're pretty well on with the amount of persons we have. So. They arrive in 14 hours, and also we want to explore more stuff, so we can explore the observatory. This peculiar building must be the Arctic Observatory, the Royal Society built to investigate the eternal winter. The smoke over it, I can go to the study shelter. A bulky cylindrical construction stands on a small hill. The Union Jack flies over it, but there's no sign of movement. I'm gonna go, gonna go to the study shelter, because then we can probably go to the observatory and then the gloomy cave. So it's gonna be 14 hours, actually. It's quite a bit. So under construction, multiple problems, huh? Oh, we dismantled it. That's great. Uh, we can go ahead and do a hunter shot. It's probably the next thing. On the we should do. So we have quite an influx of people coming. That's what 20, 33 people. So we need four new homes. God damn it. So we need to think about that as well. Speed up here a bit, as nothing is really happening. Da, da. Oh! Where's the boom? It made a boom thing. Oh, it's because they have steelworks finished. Great! So now we have a steelwork, and I have like 10,000 steel in there, so we're never really gonna need steel anymore. The poor engineer working by himself kind of makes me feel a bit sad. I'm gonna put him in here. Uh, we can take people off the other steelworks, which was... Where was it actually? It was up by a beacon, right? So now 15 workers can go off there, and 10 can go into actual steelworks, and these guys can work on getting the rest extracted from there. Uh, so that's kind of neat. So now we got a, like, a solid steel. Still don't know how much it is per hour, but like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing I will do is I'll... BAM! make people very unhappy and I'll put on like long working hours in the workshop because technology is kind of what we need here to survive so you can kind of see you can make them work from 6 to, 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 to 8 or from 8 to 6 and yeah we, we, we are very rude leaders okay so we'll take it getting quite a lot of wood stocked up right here I think what I want to do with the wood we have to make sure that we also kind of prepare for this because when the temperature drops it gets really cold so we might want to get some other, like, better heating options going. Um, definitely going to want some more coal for that as well. So I think one of the things we need to do today is up our coal production. Well, I can certainly remember worse mornings, better ones too. Let's make it for the day. Maybe tomorrow will be better. I agree. So this content kind of rises because there's permanent modifiers, which is overtime work. And citizen needs cops disposal. Would create depleted. Awesome. We have more workers now. Uh... And we wanted more coal, right? So we'll just send people out and do more coal. And yeah, that should be fine. There's like different spots for sawmill. Like right here would be a really good spot for sawmill. We kind of wanted our, like, this right here. It's going to be a residential area in a way. That's fine. So you can see the heat right now. It's kind of livable everywhere. It's not too cold yet. Minus 20. People, people get through it. People are people after all. One sick absence. That's kind of shitty. So four people are getting treated right now. Uh, patience. Recovery time, about 22 hours, about a day. Okay, so the more people you put in here, obviously, the faster they're going to recover. We should probably put one more engineer in there, not going to lie. Just because we don't want people like... So it's not really working at full efficiency. People starting to get food rations out, so that's nice. We get an influx of people in one hour, which is also very nice. 
researching our sawmill, which is also very nice. Everything is just kind of nice right now, man. Um, scouts have reached a sturdy shelter, so we can press on the scouts. The shelter is well supplied and built to withstand even the worst weather. An advanced steam heating system protects it from the cold, so there's wood, food rations, and steam calls. We can go ahead and explore it. The trail leads to another city. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice, po uh, notice posted by the heavy round door to all scientists. If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signal posted by the trail points in two directions. London, 1,934 1, miles. Home, 27 miles. So we can take 200 with 99 food rations and the steam cores take the resources and now we discover the steel bridge the trial go on elden steel bridge that crosses a huge ring the bridge is remarkably snow free oh we can go to the i'm gonna go to here we can also send the guy back home with 100 wood but we're not really in like a wood problem right now so we're actually gonna, gonna send, send him to the steel bridge i think that's gonna be fine for now sick absence everywhere man people just sick af they support children as well man so hopefully the efficiency goes up quite a bit. This is gonna finish in a second. So that's quite nice. Sawmill research. Bam! Alright, we need to worry about heating because tomorrow is gonna be cold. Really cold. We can do a drawing board and then we can do a generator power upgrade. Or we can do heaters, which I think is what I'm gonna go with. And a heater just allows you to heat workplaces during working hours. Each heater raises workplace temperature by one level and can use one coal per hour when running. It takes seven hours to research it, that's fine. Because now we can build another new thing, which is a sawmill. Awesome. So, right here I said was a really good place for sawmill. So, you can actually get a range extension for sawmill, so I think... Something like... Ah, the thing is, it's so hard because you can destroy resources. Nonetheless, like... I think right here is gonna be the play. Like, yeah, like right there. Bam. Put down a sawmill. It's gonna look a bit off, which is kinda sad, but... Actually, no, it fits perfectly with like the round here. Make sure it's connected. And now people can go and do that. We finished our coal thingy, so that's nice. Food. The generator hums with reasserting warmth, but we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now, food. There'll be no one in the city if we stuff that. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Now, we actually don't really need raw food right now because we still have a lot of raw food left and people don't eat that many po food portions anyway so secure food we have to do that but we don't have to do that right now oh people arrive people are back yes pockers people from a convoy reunions it's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby the first expedition left long long ago they ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find the offering. We'll look for the others. So now we have to find another settlement. So now we have 34 people that we can throw to work. So that's awesome. But that's going to be for another episode. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Nils Strikes Frostpunk episode 2. Next time we're going to put all the people to work. Going to discover, discover the steel bridge. And... It's gonna get cold. It's gonna get really, really cold. And that might screw us over completely because people are already really angry with us. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and press the bell. And until next time, everyone, peace out. Oh, I'm